who should dethrone every main roster champion in WWE? Here are my picks. There's currently nine total main roster titles, three tag team titles, two mid card titles, and four world titles. So the first titles to discuss are the Kabuki Warriors and their women's tag team titles. WWE has struggled massively with the booking of the women's tag team division, and it is not because of lack of talent. They struggle to give intriguing storylines and enough time for these tag teams to develop. Now, while the Kabuki Warriors are an exception to this because they are technically involved in one of the main storylines headed into WrestleMania involving Damage Control and Bayley, the Women's Tag Team Championships should just be given a storyline of its own versus being plopped into a faction. And that's why I think Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae should be the ones to dethrone the Kabuki Warriors. Candice LeRae's heel turn has been a welcome surprise, and I think the two can further their internal beef if they were able to win the tag team titles with heel tactics from Candice LeRae. It'll turn Indy Hartwell into even more of a babyface than she already is, realizing that they won, but at what cost? And maybe she can use this as an opportunity to propel herself into the world title picture. Even though I don't think the Women's Tag Team title should be considered considered a stepping stone. I do really want to see Indy fighting for a world title soon. Next up is Finn Balor and Damian Priest, members of the Judgment Day, with both the Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Now, I do believe inevitably these titles are going to be split, so I'm going to go under the impression that we're going to pick two here, one for SmackDown and one for Raw. Now, let's be honest here. I truly think there's an opportunity for R-Truth and The Miz to win at WrestleMania, the awesome truth. But I think there needs to be an R-Truth element of comedy in this. And I think that he needs to grab only the SmackDown tag team titles. Meaning The Miz and R-Truth now have to move to SmackDown. It'll build into R-Truth's silliness. And it'll also give them an opportunity to split up the tag team titles. Which they desperately need to do. Because it's finally time to put the tag team belts on Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. A.K.A. D-Generation X is Triple H and Shawn Michaels according to R-Truth. But honestly it is the time to put the Raw Tag Team titles on DIY. They weren't getting over with the crowd for a long time, but now they're finally starting to pop. Let's capitalize on this opportunity and give them the Tag Team title. Now moving into the mid card, we have ourselves the United States Champion Logan Paul. Now Logan Paul already has a match for WrestleMania, which is a triple threat match between him, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton. Personally, I think this is a great time to put the title on Randy Orton because Randy Orton is in that stage of his career where he could start trying to put over younger talent. Very similar to how John Cena had his U.S. Open challenge for the United States title. I think Randy Orton should win this title off of a sick RKO that I'm sure Logan Paul will sell to perfection. So we'll win the title and then have some great feuds that will hold him off before he inevitably goes after a world championship later in this year, probably around SummerSlam time. Next up, we have the best current champion in WWE, Da Ring General Gunta, who is having probably the greatest intercontinental title reign of all time. So who could possibly take this title off this man? Okay, so just hear me out, because we know that Triple H loves long-term storytelling, and the storytelling that we have been seeing so far is Chad Gable is the one who's most suited to defeat Gunther. He's even trying to help and give pointers to Sami Zayn, who he deems is not ready to beat him at WrestleMania. However, I think it will get to a point where Gunther beats all his opponents and is left with just one last rematch against Chad Gable, the man who's most equipped to beat him in my opinion. It'll be a David versus Goliath where David finally gets the upper hand and becomes the most over babyface in WWE. You don't know how excited I was when Io Sky won the WWE Women's Championship. I thought she very much deserved it. It was awesome to see her come back to WWE and make a statement by winning the money in the bank and cashing in. However, I do believe her time is coming to an end and she will inevitably lose this Women's Championship to Bailey. I mean, come on. This is the most obvious title change that's going to occur at WrestleMania. Bailey is going to win the title from Io Sky. How she does it, I'm not sure because obviously all of damage control is going to try and stop this. Who Bailey brings to help her, I have no idea. Maybe Bianca ends up helping her in the first place. Who knows? We shall see. But overall, yes, Bailey will win this title from Io Sky at WrestleMania. It'll be an amazing moment. I hope she brings back the hugger theme because I loved when Bailey was the hugger. It was amazing. So so let's see, but I really think this is the most obvious title change we have going into WrestleMania. Seth Rollins has done just about everything there is to do as the World Heavyweight Champion, and at WrestleMania, I believe this time will come to an end. He's in a one-on-one -on -one match with Drew McIntyre, the winner of the Elimination Chamber, and somehow, someway, CM Punk will be involved. Right now, he's on commentary, but inevitably, somehow, I think he's going to end up being the referee of that match. So the man I have Seth Rollins dropping his World Heavyweight Championship to is, well, technically, it could be Drew McIntyre, then Damian Priest, or it could just be Damian Priest. I'll explain. Because honestly, after a long span of bad money in the bank cash-ins, it's time for WWE to capitalize on one. I believe Drew McIntyre will either be close to winning the match or have won the match, 
but CM Punk will come in, hit both of them with a kick to the head, or GTS if he's clear to do that, re-establishing himself over them, which will allow Priest to come in and cash in on Rollins while Drew crawls over, just missing it, furthering Drew's storyline. Now, you could also have him come in and just hit it on Drew after Drew has won the match and steal it from him. That also works, but I'm going to say the Rollins won while Drew crawls over is going to be a lot more important for Drew's furthering storyline. Rhea Ripley is easily the hardest person to pick a successor to the Women's World Heavyweight Championship because I don't think it's going to be Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. And honestly, I'd like her to hold that title for a very, very long time. Beating every opponent in her path, she has done a great job with the Women's World Heavyweight Championship. So honestly, until this person's ready to take it, I think Rhea should keep it for a while. And that person is Jade Cargill. Now, Jade Cargill has been putting in a lot of work to make sure her WWE run goes smoothly. And in her limited time in the Royal Rumble, she looked great. I think she's going to fit right into the women's division. So I think we'll give her a few stars feuds to get going work with some people maybe in tag team matches then get her own pay-per-view matches and it'll be great for her to get going and then inevitably when she's ready i think she should be the one to take the title off of rhea ripley and finally is the man we call our tribal chief roman reigns roman reigns has been the wwe undisputed universal champion for over 1300 days up to this point has had an incredible reign even though the last year had been a bit lackluster because he wasn't competing in a lot of matches However, I do believe we are at the end of that point because at WrestleMania 40, the biggest WrestleMania of all time, it's time for Dusty and Mama Rhodes' baby boy to get his big moment as the American Nightmare will be the one to dethrone the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns and win the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. Has The Rock been working with Cody Rhodes all along? Are Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, and Jey Uso going to get involved and help Cody win on night two during bloodline rules is stone cold or John Cena gonna come out and confront the rock to help Cody win on night two who knows however WWE decides to do it I'm sure it will be great but the important thing to know is that this will be the moment that Cody Rhodes finally gets his big WWE undisputed championship win and it will happen on night two of WrestleMania 40. Now while I'm confident in my picks, a lot can unravel over the next few weeks, so we will have to see if anything changes. But anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on those bell notifications if you want to see more content like this. Thank you guys for watching, I'm The Wrestling Truth, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.